All right, hey, welcome to HIT. This is High Intensity Tactics with Chris Ciccinelli, and we are talking everything about getting ready for a 90-day challenge. Now, you're probably going, well, why am I talking about a 90-day challenge? It's July. We're already halfway through the year of 2020, which a lot of people thought 2020 is probably over anyway with COVID, with everything else that's been going on. And a lot of people keep saying, what in the heck? This is not what I set out for my year. I did not have these in the plans. Uh, I don't think anybody saw COVID coming, right? I think it is just what it is. But it does go back, if you're a true hit listener, if you're a true rise and grinder here and you have followed me, you understand that I believe in life 15% is shit knocking on your door. And that's exactly what happened. A lot of people got caught with their guard down. A lot of people did not see things coming, but a lot of people do not plan for bad things to happen. Now, I am not a conspiracy theory type of person. I'm not a person that sits back and thinks about the negative. I am a realist. And when I think about being a realist, what I'm really saying is that every year, no matter what, you're going to have things that are outside of your control. And that's exactly what has transpired this year. But it does not stop you from setting up a 90-day plan. It doesn't stop you from continuing to having those goals that you're trying to go out there and still achieve. Some people have already thrown in the towel and they said, I can't wait to get into 2021. Well, can I tell you what you should do right now? Turn me off. No, seriously. Go to your on and off button on your player, in your car, wherever you're at, turn me off because I, you should never listen to me again. Because if, if you have that mentality or that attitude, I'm going to tell you I'm not for you. Okay, now they're all gone. The people that have stayed on, here's what we're going to talk about. The 90-day challenge is the most important thing I think what we have to take a look at, which is this. I got asked this question uh, oh, about a week ago, somebody came to me and said, Hey man, what are you going to be doing with you? 90 days, you know, your business is up over a hundred percent. Um, you know, how do you can constantly keep this tracking? How do you stay kind of focused? How do you plan for what the next new 90 days you're going to look at? Well, I, I was kind of caught off guard, right? I was caught, uh, caught off guard, but okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to plan this? Because I can't really base my original budget. Cause I had based that we'd be up 10% for the year. Um, so when I looked at July, you know, I was like, all right, it's 10% over 2019. You know, August is, you know, 10% over 2019 and, and also going into September, you know, 10%. That was kind of my thing. I mean, we we're a $250 million company. Uh, you know, so when you start looking at that, that kind of makes a lot of sense. I mean, even to get a 10% growth is you working your butt off. But what I had to do is I had to kind of reassess because what's happening right now, how do I capitalize on that? How do you as business owners, because some of you guys have got businesses that are going crazy right now. Some of you guys are doing fantastic. So you can't look at the goal that you set in 2020 in January and say that that's going to actually be the realistic thing you need to do now. So if you're sitting there, you first thing you have to think about is what is your targets going to look like? Now, if you take a look at what we do at Pure Romance, right, we have kind of got to start with what the income is. And even if you're selling insurance or you're selling homes or you're doing any type of business, you have to have a target that you're going after. What is the kind of the inner ring target? What is the bullseye? And typically when I talk to people, they're like, hey, I want to make you know $2,000 or I want to make you know $5,000. Great, wonderful. You start out with 2,000. You start out with 5,000, whatever the number is. Well, then that's the target. You need to figure out what are the things you need to do to hit that target. Well, in our business, it's activity, right? So it's going to be parties. Just like if you're in real estate or you're whatever, you're going to be in how many closings are you going to have, right? How many closings are going to happen? Well, that's going to also dictate how many calls I'm going to make, how many emails I'm going to send, how many text messages I'm going to send. All of those are going to kind of encompass this 90 days of, of real focus, this 90 days of getting the outcome that you're out there desiring. So you think about that. One, you got to get those parties booked. The second thing is, that you have the ability to also go out there and have virtual parties. That's a new piece, which is how do you add technology into also this 90-day challenge? So how many you know in-home parties are you going to do, which is face-to-face, -face, getting friends together. People are wanting to kind of socialize right now. But ultimately, how are you also going to address the people that are out there saying, hey, ah, pump the brakes. I'm really starting on that uh, six feet of uh, social distancing. I'm really you know protective of my family right now. And that's okay because Pure Romance has the other piece, which is they have the ability to do virtual parties. If people haven't understood how to use technology during this pandemic, 
shame on them. I don't know if they're going to make it in the new world. The new world is you're going to have to be able to have technology part of your day, part of your day, part of your week, part of your month. It's just going to be part of how we operate. Also thinking about this, you have to make sure not only are you doing the virtual parties, but what do you want for those virtual parties? How are you going to make sure that you're doing the follow-up? Because virtually, when you're face-to-face closing somebody, that's easy. They can't really run too far from you. When it's on virtual, they can have this on and off. They can turn their camera off. They can actually do more stuff. So the key message is, if you're going to do those virtual parties, what is your follow-up going to look like? Because that's going to be hugely important to hitting what that key goal is. If it is that 2,000 or if it is that 5,000. The other thing is, what are you going to be doing from possibly a flash sale or, you know, some people might know it as a customer appreciation, right? What are you going to be doing to make sure that you're constantly adding value to your group? I always say here that you have, as a marketer, you have to understand you own the relationship. You own the experience that you have with you and your consumer. You cannot just continue to keep throwing products at your customers, throwing products at your customers and making them always want to buy from you. It does not work that way. You have to add other value. One of the things that we do at Pure Romance is we have a buzz blog, right? I hire professional writers. These professional writers write stuff that you're able to take right from our page and you're able to put out there on your own individual pages. You're able to take those and share those and give value to your customers. So you're not just out there just slaying products all the time and slinging them. You're out there giving content. You're giving real life examples, putting testimonials out there. How are you changing people's lives? All of those things are hugely important in how you operate your business. That's the stuff that you have to be mindful of as you're setting this 90 day goal. Now, the other thing that you have to think about too, is as you're kind of going after that 90 days and after you're going after that challenge, the big other thing that you have to think about is what is your outside order business going to look like? So many people sleep on that, right? They, they talk about what their party schedule is going to look like. They talk about, you know, maybe what they're going to do from the customer appreciation, but they never think about those everyday interactions. I think every day, if I'm a business owner out there, I want to make a sale. If I don't have a party booked or if I didn't get something out of my, you know, a VIP group, how do I make sure that I'm text messaging people for refills? How am I making sure that I'm text messaging for people that maybe haven't bought from me for a while? Why am I doing all that? Because it comes back down to that main focus. What is the goal that I'm trying to go after? That's why I said the 90 day challenge. You need to take a look at what you did in the month of April. You need to take a look at the month, what you did in the month of May. You need to take a look at what you did in the month of June. That's how you base what you should be looking at for your business in the months of July, August, and September. It's huge. This is the time frame where people more than ever need to focus. If you do not have something to focus on, you will flounder. Let me back up. If you do not have anything to focus on, you will flounder. And I don't want to see you flounder in business. I don't want to see you flounder in life. And typically when it gets down to that, it's a lack of focus. It's a lack of what am I trying to go after? Most business owners that I talk to, the reason that they never succeed or they never get what they want is because of lack of focus, lack of where to start. And I'm telling you today, if you do nothing else, you go to my Facebook page, it's under Rise and Grind, you will see this an area where you can take the 90 day challenge. It doesn't have to be just pure romance related. Change it where it says parties and change it to where it says maybe if you're in real estate closings or you're, you sell cars, how are you gonna close the deal? How many contacts are you gonna make? Everything I talk about is a, is applicable in any other business that you are in. The deal is this, it is about activity. It's about putting activity against an outcome. And that's where I think today we need to make sure we're focused. What is the 90 days you're trying to go after? What I'm trying to go after is I'm I'm on this whole kick of opportunity. I'm on the abundance opportunity. See, I themed out my 90 days. You could theme your 90 days if you want to too, which is huge, right? What is the theme? Mine is gonna be about abundance opportunity, which is huge. What are you going to give? And right now, I want to bring 25,000 more people into the business. I want to give them an opportunity to own and operate their business and choose exactly what it is. Because if you've listened to HIT, you understand one thing. I'm always about live life by design, not by default. Hey, listen, take the 98 Challenge. Go on my website right now. Take it. You could go to chrischickadelli.com or you could go to my Instagram and Facebook page. Pull down it and go ahead and start that 98 Challenge. Hey, hit me up. I want to know what you're doing because, hey, if you need an accountability partner, I'll be that for you. Thanks so much for turning in to hit High Intensity Tactics. Remember, you have always controlled your destiny. You've always had the pen to create your chapters. And remember, live life by design, not by default.